Welcome to my tutorial video about how to do the four needle bind off for my War Bride Beret hat band. Now in my War Bride Beret, the hat band is made from a tube of seed stitch and the original cast on edge, I used Magic Cast On, Judy's Magic Cast On, which you can see the tutorial for how to do that on my website at www.talinawinters.com slash magic dash cast dash on. Now, unfortunately, the uh, cast on edge doesn't leave nice live stitches like a different provisional cast on would, but it does let you knit both ways immediately, which is how I was able to create a, a closed tube. Uh, so what I did is I used a smaller needle and I picked up the stitches that I cast on, I just kind of went into the, the loops and I wasn't able to get them all laying the right direction. As you can see, I've got two that are the wrong direction here, but that's okay. We'll fix them as we go. Um, so there were 17 stitches cast on, an odd number to make the seed stitch work and look nice. So I picked up nine stitches on my cast on row. On the other side, I have put my stitches onto two needles. One has eight and the ones, sorry, the one in the back has eight and the one on the front has nine. And my yarn is ready to start a brand new round. But what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to bind off all three of these needles into one needle so that I can continue working. I'm gonna make a little buttonhole tab that um, is a decor design feature for this pattern. Now, because I'm working in seed stitch, I wanna make sure that I'm continuing to knit in the pattern because I don't want there to be an apparent break on the outside when I'm going around into that tab. So if that means if I this is a purl stitch, which this first one is, I'm gonna knit. And if it's a knit stitch, I'm gonna purl. Now if you don't know how to read your knit knitting to tell whether you're looking at a knit or a purl, so you can knit in the pattern, um, there's a section on my website about reading your knitting and you can get there at www.talinawinters.com slash reading dash your dash knitting. And it'll help you to learn to recognize what you're looking at. Okay, get my um, cast on yarn out of the way going down and I'm gonna take my working yarn up the back because my first stitch needs to be a knit stitch. I'm trying to not to get these mixed up here. Okay, so just like three needle bind off, uh, we're actually, would you would knit into these two stitches and then with with a single loop come back in this one we're going to be going into three stitches so it's just one extra step other than that it's just the same as a, a three needle bind off so i'm going to knit into go into the first stitch as if to knit second stitch first stitch on the second needle as if to knit first stitch on the third needle as if to knit and then i'm just going to pull back through I'm gonna pull the yarn back through. Take your time, be patient. There we go. I've got it through all three stitches now. Now I'm gonna pull all three of those stitches off the needles. So now all three of those stitches have been bound off into one. Next one, my last stitch was knit on this front needle. So now this one's gonna be purl. I'm gonna put my yarn in front and I'm gonna start at the back. First purl, uh, put my needle as if to purl into the back stitch, then the middle stitch, middle needle stitch, and then the front needle stitch. And purl back through all three of those stitches. And then pull all three of those stitches off of the left needle. I'm checking just to make sure that I'm keeping in mind when I'm gonna have to um, fix my back stitch. Okay, now this next one's gonna be knit. So go starting at the front as if to knit into first needle, second needle, third needle. So I'm gonna fix this one first before I go into it. Making sure I only have one loop of yarn on my pick up, picked up cast on row. Now that that's fixed, I can go into that as if to knit and pull back through all three of these stitches. Now I've reached that stitch that's laying wrong on the needle. So I'm just gonna fix it by taking it off the needle and then putting it back on the right way. That's how easy it is to fix a stitch that's laying wrong. Okay, so now it's time to purl. So I'm gonna go into that 
that stitch first as if to purl. Oops. Then the next middle stitch needle, and then the front needle, and then purl back through all three of those. So you have now got four stitches that I have worked in the pattern and I'm just going to continue on across when I get to my last one because um, in the front and the back needle I, ha I actually have five more stitches but in the middle one I only have four so when I get to my last one it's only going to be the two stitches instead of I won't have one on the middle row anymore and that's okay you just do the two stitches I've reached my last stitch and the middle needle is done because it only had the eight stitches. These are my ninth, ninth stitches for both needles. And as you can see, I have the back stitch on this needle laying the wrong way. So I could do the same thing as I did before to fix it. I could turn it around by pulling it off the needle and then putting it back on. Or because it's my last stitch, I can just turn this around. And now the right leg is in front, which is exactly where I want it to be. And my last stitch needs to be a knit stitch. Make sure my yarn is behind both needles. So for this stitch, it's not so hard because it's just a regular three needle bind off. Okay, so this is my completed hat band on the Warbride Beret. And I'm sorry, I forgot to film the what this looked like before I had finished it. So this is tacked down with a button already. But as you can see, I have my completed tube and then this is where the four needle bind off happened right here. I joined the two ends of the tube and still left me live stitches, which I used to create this tab. So that's how you do the four needle bind off for the Warbride Beret. You can get this pattern and many others on my website at www.talinawinters.com under knitting and design tutorial sorry, uh, design index. And also you can find more stitch tutorials on my website at www.talinawinters.com slash stitch dash tutorials. Thanks for watching my knitting tutorial and happy knitting.